So I told you at the beginning of this lecture that the quantum mechanical model explains periodic properties. We see these periodic chemical properties because the number of valence electrons is periodic in the elements. So elements in the same column have similar properties. Elements in the same column have the same number of valence electrons. The number of valence electrons, the type of orbitals that they occupy, these are also periodic. So if we look at the noble gases, the noble gases have eight valence electrons except for helium, but helium only has electrons in the first level. Its first level is completely full. It's just that first level is really small. And neon now is the second level is its highest level. It's completely full. It's got eight electrons. So what we find is that these noble gases, because they have eight electrons, they're very, very stable. Um, when this quantum level is full, the overall electron energy is lower. And so the atom is much less motivated, if you want to personify atoms, which I love to personify atoms. The, the atom is, is less motivated to react with other things. What we'll see is that atoms react with other atoms to lower their energy. The noble gases are already really low in energy. And so there's no reason for them to change. They've got stable electron configurations. So another stupid analogy I use is you know, kids in high school. The noble gases are like the in crowd, the A-list people. You know, everybody wanted to be like them, right? And so how do you become, how do you try to get into that group? You dress like them, right? This is, you know, everybody's trying to express themselves in high school, but we end up with these groups of people that all look exactly the same. Right? And, and as adults, we can understand that, but you try to tell that to a high school kid and they're not going to listen to you at all. No, but I'm being an individual. So all of these, I think of the electrons, they're on the outside of the atom, right? So the electrons are like the clothes of the atom. The electrons can change. We can change the number of electrons. We can make cations. We can make anions. And so you can change the electron configuration by adding or subtracting ions to get it more like the noble gases. But the noble gases, that's what everybody's trying to get. Magic number eight. Alkali metals. These are in group 1A. They all have one valence electron. These elements are very reactive. Let's think about, um, think about sodium. What's different between sodium and neon? One electron. one electron. Also one proton, but you can't change the number of protons. You can't change who you are, but you can change what you look like. Sodium says, hey, I've got this one valence electron. If I got rid of this electron on the outside, I would look just like neon. I'd have eight valence electrons, and I'd be cool. Sodium very easily forms a positive one ion. In fact, all of these elements form a positive one ion. Because when they do that, they have an electron configuration that's the same as the noble gases. They do not become a noble gas. The, the number of protons doesn't change. But the electrons change. And so all of these form positive one ions, and they do it very easily, and that makes them very reactive. The halogens. The halogens have one less electron than the nearest noble gas. They are also quite reactive. Um, chlorine is one electron shy of having the same electron configuration blanking as argon, right? Chlorine's like, man, I, I'm, I almost look like argon, and argon is so cool, right? If I could just get one electron. And sodium's over there saying, man, I gotta ditch this electron so I can look like neon. Chlorine's like, hey, hey, I'll take it. Right? And they form sodium chloride. And they have both benefited. They both have lower energy now, and that's what they're trying to get. So we see that all of these halogens will form anions with a minus one charge. So the quantum mechanical model explains why some of these things happen. We learned just to look at the periodic table and predict ion charges of main group elements, right? Now we see, looking at the electron configuration, why? 
So we can predict the charge on an ion based on its position in the periodic table, and that's because that predicts how many electrons an atom has to gain or lose to achieve a noble gas electron configuration. So they're all gaining or losing electrons to become like the nearest noble gas. Um, hopefully they fixed this in the, um, the edition of the textbook that you guys have, but this is from, I think, the second edition, and they had the, the periods numbered wrong. Hmm. Um, so we see that the group 1As all form plus 1, group 2As form plus 2 over here. Aluminum has three valence electrons. It's got 3s2, 3p1. It'll lose those three valence electrons to form um, an aluminum 3 plus, and then it'll have the same electron configuration as neon. Fluorine needs to gain one electron. Oxygen needs to gain two electrons. Nitrogen needs to gain three electrons. What about carbon? Carbon's right here. Carbon's in a difficult place. It would have to gain four electrons or lose four electrons. And so carbon just like, nah, it's too much trouble. I'll just be myself. I'm not going to dress like other people. And so these uh, carbon and um, silicon tend not to form ions. Any questions? When, yes? Would it be possible to? Like if you were there it, it would be possible to form a carbon ion, but it's, it's going to be very unstable. It's going to be very unstable. We'll see that carbon gets its eight valence electrons in a different way. It does so with covalent bonding instead of forming ions. Silicon. Yeah, silicon's a, semi, silicon is a very useful semi-metal, a semi-conductor, um, but it doesn't tend to form ions. It does form compounds, though, but it does so with covalent bonds like carbon does. So we see that with, um, with these main group elements forming ions, they do so in a way that completes their valence shell. So the sulfur atom has this electron configuration. It's got six valence electrons, right? My pointer is frozen. Come back. Fine, you can see it for yourself. 3s2 and 3p4, right? To get eight valence electrons, the sulfur has to gain two more. 